Masks, lockdowns, and travel restrictions played a critical role in reducing SARS-CoV-2 transmissions, especially before vaccines. But have you ever considered the impact of these restrictions on other viruses? It turns out that in 2020, there was a dramatic decrease in the circulation of all respiratory viruses. And that includes one called enterovirus D68. I like to say that D68 is a virus that nobody's heard of, but everybody's had. We can detect antibodies against it in over 98% of adults and actually watch antibody titers rise in children over time as they become exposed and infected. D68 generally causes mild respiratory symptoms, but in a small number of cases, it's associated with a more severe syndrome known as AFM or acute flaccid myelitis, which causes partial or complete paralysis. Europe and North America have been affected by biennial outbreaks of D68 in the autumn of 2014, 16, and 18. And there was another predicted for 2020, but due to pandemic restrictions, D68 was hardly detected. This overall decrease in circulation means that many children will not have been infected or exposed when they normally would have been, and has led to fears of an immunity gap, meaning that some children may not have the immunity against D68 that they would normally have by the same age pre-pandemic. The autumn of 2022 is also predicted to be another outbreak season for D68 according to pre-pandemic circulation patterns and could be further compounded by the existence of such an immunity gap. In my study, I aim to capture both the clinical and phylogenetic impact of the SARS-CoV-2 pandemic on D68 in the autumn of 2022. Working with previous collaborators at the University Hospital Basel, we will screen adults and children for potential D68 infection and record symptoms and sequence samples from those who test positive. Funds from this award will allow me to sequence over 300 samples that I'll be able to combine with publicly available sequences from around the world. This data will allow us to see what lineages of D68 have persisted into 2022, and whether the virus has signs of significant genetic changes, whether the ages at which children are infected has significantly changed, or the symptoms that they experience, and finally, whether pandemic travel restrictions have impacted both the long and short-term geographic transmission mixing that we normally see in D68. This is an opportunity to capture the re-emergence of D68 in Switzerland, and that's a unique opportunity Never before have we had the chance to study the impact of such a significant change in circulation of an endemic respiratory virus. And what we learn won't just tell us more about D68, but will also help inform our knowledge of exposure and immunity for viruses more broadly, and allow us to better understand how endemic pathogens evolve and persist in the presence of human immunity.